everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add an additional page as well as add it to the navigation. So right now if we go to the site tab, you'll see all your pages. So there's a couple ways you can add a new page. If you look at pages where my cursor is right now and there's a plus sign, you can add a blank page, which is literally just blank. Go ahead and delete that. Or you can hit the plus sign, select a new page. So this is if you just kind of want to copy a current page layout and you can hit add and then it just copied that layout or so maybe there's another way to do a quick um, duplicate if we just click families and hit these three little dots you can go ahead and duplicate that as well what I like to do is the 404 page doesn't have much on it so if you duplicate that page and then go ahead and rename it and you'll click the page tab in this heading section. You can just hold down your cursor and select everything and then delete and then come to the right to your canvas background and then change that to white. Then you have to change it on mobile as well. And now you have a blank page that has the header already, it has your Instagram, it has your footer. So now if we come back home, so now we have to add it to the header. So you just click edit header. So now we're adding the new page to here. So I'm gonna show this just on the desktop. So what you might wanna do is just slide everything down And then I would just copy a current navigation and just go ahead and type what that new page is. And then you'll come to the right and you'll do go to click actions. And then you wanna set your uh, link. So you're gonna go to type page and you'll go to that new page you just selected. So now if we go home, so now you see this little line that was under the home isn't quite in the right place now. So if you go to your hero image, you'll see line for navigation. So this is where you wanna move that line. So now it's under navigation and you would unfortunately have to move it on every single page. line for navigation and then just go through and remove those to the right word and then of course you'd have to copy it and come back to your text and then you'd want to move it to your new page as well and then delete the one under contact so that's how that little line is shown. So now we added the new page to the header, but then you'd have to add it to the mobile navigation as well. So if we go ahead and look at our mobile, go ahead and just copy that last one, change it to your new page, and then relink it under click actions on your right-hand panel. Another place that you'd have to add it is the footer as well, since we have it all the pages in the footer. So if we make a little bit of room. So if you click these little arrows, this line that I'm dragging down, it will extend the footer canvas. And you can just select all of this and bring this down to add a little bit more room. If it isn't exactly in the middle, that's okay. If everything's still selected and then you see on your right panel the alignment options have come, if you align canvas to center, it will automatically go to the center. So then go ahead and add that. So we added it to mobile, but now we have to add it to the desktop. So you see that it's right there. So then you might wanna rearrange these to the order that you like. 